What's up people, Team Money here. We are back with another video. Let's get into this weekend news, okay? It's been a great week. You know, I'm not gonna lie, everybody was caught up on TV this week. You know, the awards, all these freaking, everything was just happening. A lot of TV shows, a Selling Sunset, a freaking, uh, it was a lot that was happening this week on TV. But one of the most highlighted moments this week was Tyler. Tyler's situation, Tyler accepting the award for best Afropop MTV award this week. And a lot of things happened during this uh, acceptance speech. People had so much to say about what Tyler said when accepting this award, okay? I'm gonna play a little video just to kinda get this thing out of the way so that people understand during this moment, okay? and. I want your take on this. I just want your honest opinion because I feel like we as Africans, sometimes we might come out like very rude when we really don't intend to be rude. The culture shock sometimes plays a major, major part when it comes to these misunderstandings and all of that. But when it's another black person misunderstanding you, it just kind of doesn't make sense to me. But let's hear what happened this week when Tyler was accepting the, uh, the award. Me, you guys know me and holding awards you I have not, not so this is the part that think that, that a lot of people think Ty Tyler uh, thinks that she's entitled when she says I'm you guys know that I'm holding the awards that doesn't mean that it's her just being confident it's not her being petty about people not winning the awards she looks up to so many artists and it's really nothing wrong for her to come up and say the speech a lot of artists think that some people think that they are queen of rap queen of this queen of that well is this something wrong that she said when she said she's holding the awards? I don't feel like it's an entitlement. Not strong enough. Use this. <laughs> Are you able to offer me? Uh, and, and look at this part. This is the part where, you know, I would like to clarify it. She is saying, please, please, are you able to hold this for me? You see, she is asking her to hold the award. Okay? She's asking her. I don't see no way where it shows that she was asking Lil Nas to hold the award. She's asking Chloe, sorry, Haley to hold the award. And look at her face. She's like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I am not holding, <laughs> I'm not holding this for you, ma'am. No, 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 that is not happening. Okay, let's hear that. Over me. Yes. And you see Lil Nas step. She's, he's all the way on the left side, on the right side. And he had to step all the way in the middle to hold the award. So, what does this tell you? So, here is what she said. This whole, after the whole thing, you know, they're trying to clean up the mess just to kind of like uh, uh, explain the situation. First of all, she clarifies that, you know, she was not asking her to hold this award. She made a tweet. She's saying that, okay, I'm going to read this tweet for you. She said, y'all make everything Y'all make everything weird. I was not asking my girl Haley to hold the award. We we just girls. Shut the f Ooh, shut the f up. I won the VMA. Okay. Y'all make everything weird. I was not asking my girl. We just girls. Shut the f up. I won the VMA. No, ma'am. I don't think. You were, I don't think that's, that that was not the case. Let's look at this. This, th this was not the case. You were asking her. It's okay. You know, we're not judging you. You were asking her. Like, really? You were asking her and she said no. Okay? You were asking her. She said no. She cannot hold the award for you. <laughs> you were asking her and then she said no you were asking <laughs> we seen that face that she made this is the face she made right there you were asking her stop it we're not kidding stop it it's okay all right so now they she clarified everything she was like listen y'all this is not a big deal i was not asking her and they, you know and then uh hell was like okay uh, exactly i love you babes congrats Okay, so this is how you clean up the mess, I guess. But 
a lot of people had so much to say about this whole thing okay a lot of people had so much to say including your one and only aman wiggins aman wiggins he had put up a tweet you know and a lot of people agreed with aman when it comes to this okay um he i'm gonna read this tweet that aman put he mentioned that this is what he said he said i don't think i like tyler's personality i think someone needs to check her because she doesn't understand american culture of which i agree and i understand that okay she almost gives off entitled or happily african i don't know how to explain it but it's very pudding and it's almost like she expects people to fall to her feed i don't agree with that part i really don't agree with that part when you say um she doesn't understand american culture i can totally understand that because she's new to america and basically new to american culture the music and adding in in, in, in overall and she's i'm a piano she's uh, afro pop artist and i would understand the award space and all everything that's going through with her you know her accepting this hours that it might be new and one thing is one thing that i i find it very weird was i had made a, a video um from her grammy where she was accepting the grammy award where she didn't even prepare a speech for the grammy and it seems like this time the more she stood on that stage she wasn't struggling with the speech you know she had some things to say this time and she thanked a lot of people on that stage but sometimes when you actually take your time to do to do things you might end up saying uh, uh uh to do something you might end up saying wrong things and it looks like a lot of people did not cash drift including a man and this happy african thing was actually trending people actually having the t-shirts she actually even went and updated her profile on the instagram and <laughs> and she had coded entitled happy african tile album out now you know and it was crazy it was crazy because actually that's actually a good promo album promo thanks to amal for bringing that up, that up but listen a lot of people actually are not happy about this you know that uh, people think that uh tyler is very entitled and this morning your favorite joe biden <laughs> not joe biden <laughs> joe biden uh, joe biden had uh something to say about um tyler this morning okay this is what joe biden had to say about tyler this morning let's listen to what joe biden said I want to find uh, Armand Wiggins' tweet because he said it a lot nicer than I'm going to say it. She's annoying, that girl. What? Go ahead. She seems, seems, again, she's a young woman. I love her debut album. I'm not talking about musically. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when she shows up in support of the music. Mm -hmm. She comes off like a dick. This is Armand Wiggins' tweet right here, Spiritual World. My girl, Big Mel. Mm -hmm. Hold me down. Uh, Armand Wiggins says, hey, I don't think I like Tyler's personality. I think someone needs to check her because she doesn't understand American culture at all. I could not agree more with this. She almost gives off entitled or uppity African. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very off-putting, and it's almost like she expects people to just fall to her feet. That is Armand Wiggins, who I fuck with a lot. Shout out listen y'all i don't know i i don't feel this you know i feel like a lot of people like jealous of tyler and i feel like as much as it has to do with uh cultural differences and you know fitting into uh, american uh, in music industry space a lot of people actually do not understand her a lot of people do not understand this is how africans artists are and it's not even like they are coming off you know very rpd very entitled and all of that this is just how we are and it's not like not how we are this is like how most of them are and it's not in a bad way this has to do with the culture and the environment where people grew up okay 
and I understand where you guys are coming from when it comes to this, but I just want you to give cut her some slack because she's not that kind of person. Okay, she's not that kind of person. There was also a video where she went to Asha's concert or whatever, and Asha was trying to dance with her, and then she was just pretty much like pushing Asha, and people were making it a big deal. We had a lot of people that actually rejected Asha on the on uh, his freaking. Um, the residence uh, Vegas uh, tall thing that that she was doing. A lot of actors was like, "No, I'm married," or "No," you know, in a nicer way. And the way she did it wasn't like, "Oh, get away!" Like I don't want that. She was actually vibing with Asher, and then she was dancing, she was having fun, but she was like, you know, scooch over. I'm taken or uh, like you know what I mean it, it wasn't like a big deal and people are like oh that came out so rude you doing that and I'm like you don't understand you just don't understand you don't get it you don't get this girl is a sweet sweet very sweet girl and people just don't F with and the the, the Charlemagne interview at the breakfast club also like a lot of people are trying to paint this horrible horrible picture this is team's decisions most of the things that she does is pretty much from the team and it's not like that's her you know a lot of people and including myself really think that the team actually might end up pushing her to the point where the whole world hates her but this whole situation with um the award i think you guys are getting it wrong okay you're getting it. She wasn't trying to be malicious. Even though she's trying to clean it up, I mean, she wasn't trying to be malicious about it. Let's just get it straight. Okay? <laughs> That's just what I wanted to say about this, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share if you feel like doing that. I'll see you guys with another video <laughs> next time.